Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I am Sapphire. Welcome back, everybody. Today's video, which you will see after the, my relaxer, okay, because that's in a couple of days, Saturday, I get my relaxer, then maybe, maybe Tuesday, maybe Tuesday or Thursday, you guys will see, you guys will see this video, okay? I'll get it together. Um, so today I'm going to talk about lighter oils. Oh, and my grandson, Deontay, is coming over today for about an hour and a half. My daughter want to do some um, shopping. So she says she haven't went shopping in a couple of weeks. So I know how that is. You get busy, you just, you know, then you realize, oh, we need some food. But anyway, I'll have him. So I'm going to talk about these lighter oils that you can use on a daily basis. So a lot of people was, uh, was asking, well, what are some oils to use besides grape seeds? So I have a list and I have the properties and benefits of these oils. So bear with me and I'll give you everything you need to know about these oils. Okay. So I'm going to gather my notes and I'll see you guys downstairs in about two or three minutes. Okay. All right. Okay, I got my notes and everything. Okay, there are six oils that I want to tell you about that are very lightweight to use besides grapeseed oil. There's nothing wrong with grapeseed oil, but people just want a more variety and I understand that. Okay, so we're going to start off with the first oil that is very light to use. I have them down here. This is the jojoba oil. Okay, my, my last video I had pictures and I was talking about that, but I guess I'll get in front of the camera and do that. So this is jojoba oil that I will be speaking about. Jojoba oil is uh, extracted from the seed kernels of the jojoba plant. This beautiful golden oil is so similar to our human sebum, which it is. Macadamia oil is too, so give that a try as well. Um, it also has vitamin E and B to keep our hair healthy. It also helps with dry split ends and dandruff. Um, it gives a great shine as well. And it also mends split ends, like I said, and breakage into the hair. So it will keep your hair very smooth and soft looking. And it will be, still be like flowing because I do use this oil. My hair is really flowing, okay? And I, I love the look of that. Grapeseed oil, which is right here. This is grapeseed oil, all right? So like I said, there's nothing wrong with using grapeseed oil. People just wanted to know, are there other lightweight oils to use besides grapeseed oil, okay? They just want a variety, all right? Because that's all you see on YouTube is grapeseed, okay? And I don't hear too many people talking about other lighter oils, um, the ones that I'm subscribed to. Okay, grapeseed is, is extracted from the grape seeds. The uh, product is process making process with grapes it is also loaded with vitamins a e k and also b6 to help keep our hair healthy so it is at its best so please make sure to store it away um just say like in the summertime you're using heat and it's exposed to the sun if you have this exposed to the sun and you're around heat, it will lose its nutrients. So they're saying keep it stored away um, in a, like a closed cabinet or something like that. Or if you're doing your hair, don't let it get too close to the heat because it would take away all the nutrients that's in this oil. And it would just be, you know, it, it would just, to, in my opinion, you know, why? You get what I'm saying? So why use it if all the nutrients are going out of that oil? So they want you to store it away. It also helps to moisturize and condition the scalp and the hair, okay? Sweet almond oil, I don't have that oil with me. Um, it is a good source of vitamins uh, B, B, A, D, and E. It um, It's light enough to fight dryness. Sweet almond oils also brings back the hair if it's over-processed. I didn't know that. So if your hair is overly processed, you have over-processed hair. And I have seen some women on YouTube use sweet almond oil to bring their hair back. And they use that for a while. That's the only oil that I see them use is sweet almond because it helps to restore your hair back to its natural state. I didn't know that. Sweet almond oil, it sounds amazing. It really does. And it also helps 
keep the hair shiny and it also helps promote healthy hair growth okay rose hemp oil which i have right here i love this oil it does keep the hair smooth silky smooth i love it i love it i love it it is extracted from the crushed seed of the wild bud rose rosebud um it um, also has fatty acid it has vitamins a c and e of course this oil is potent antioxidant it helps keeps the hair hydrated and also soft for days and it also keeps it silky it won't weigh the hair down and your hair still is flowing also, this oil helps to unclog hair follicles and promoting healthy hair growth, okay? So, if you're having problems with frizziness, dryness, rose hemp will really help smooth the texture of your hair down. It really would. It really would. I have two more to go, and this is the Baobab oil. And I've seen some people, not a lot, maybe a few hands, um, using baobab oil. This oil comes from the baobab fruit tree. It is often called a tree of life, and that's because it's rich in vitamins E and A. It also is non-greasy. It helps keep your hair moisturized once you seal moisture in it. It also helps with dry, brittle hair because it really penetrates in the hair shafts really well. Um, it also keeps the scalp, both hair and the scalp, very healthy while your hair is growing, okay? And lastly, I have argan oil. Um, it helps keep the hair, it helps keep moisture in the hair strands, protects against everyday damage, okay? Reducing breakage and split ends, helps prevent hair loss for thicker, longer fuller looking hair. All right. So these are the six oils that are very lightweight to use besides grapeseed oil. But like I said, there's nothing wrong with grapeseed oil. The women that got a hold of me, they just wanted to know what are other lighter oils to use besides grapeseed oil. They just wanted a variety. And I really want you guys to really look into the rose hemp oil. I had a few women that use this oil for their hair and their skin all over their skin and they love it it really helps your skin to look very youthful you hear me it really does so you need to look up more properties when it comes to rose hemp oil as a matter of fact all the oils okay all of these oils they're really good for the skin and also for the hair okay so i hope and pray that you enjoyed this video you will see um me later on today um, once I get my relaxer, like I said, I, I may be going uh, to do a few errands, but I will be back. It won't be too late in the evening, but I know I'll be back maybe a little after three, four o'clock in the evening. Okay. So thank you guys so much. And that's why you'll see a different shirt. So the first video that I did with this, um, I had on a black shirt. So today I have on a black, a, a pink t-shirt. So it'll be a different shirt just in case you guys want, why, you know, that's why, because I lost that clip. I don't know what happened to it. I really don't. So have a wonderful Saturday, everyone. And Lord's will, you will see me a little bit later. Thank you ever kindly for watching me. God bless you. Mwah. Bye. Okay, I am back and look what I look who I have with me. This is our grandson Deontay. You guys seen him before in some of the videos when he was very small. He's three years old and I, he wanted to say hello. Say hello. Hello. All right. <laughs> now he's acting shy. But anyway, the oils that I showed you and mentioned about their benefits, these oils really help with the hair. You can use these oils every day because they're just that light, just like grapeseed oil, because a lot of people are prone to use grapeseed oil and not thinking about any other oils. Just so happened, I was just looking up oils. I'm like, wow. So a jojoba oil, I already knew that was a light oil. A lot of people like to seal with that. You're leaving, a lot of people like to seal with that. And then argan oil, I didn't know people were using that oil either. That came up as well. So I don't have that oil here with me. I just had a picture and I just talked a little bit about that. So, but those oils are really great to use okay they really are um i may i may consider on using argan oil myself but the now solutions i think they only have it like in the three two three four ounce bottle and that won't last a whole month because i like to use my oils put that down i like to use my oils at a month's time 
You know what I'm saying? Like I use jojoba oil for a whole month and then macadamia oil for a whole month and so on and so on and so on. So I'm going to look further into that oil and then, and then get it in its um, purest form. I don't want any adjectives or other ingredients mixed with that oil, just that oil itself. If I want to mix my oils, then I'll add my other organic, straight up, pure form oils in that applicator bottle. I don't want to buy anything like that. Not saying that anything wrong. Some people just get what they can get, you know, but me, myself, when I'm putting it on my skin, my hair, I just want it to be at that purest form, okay? So I want to thank you guys so much. Any more questions on ED oils that you want to know about, you know, just do your, your research. It's okay to ask. That's why I'm here. Just do your research, and I'll do my best to answer you guys, okay? So thank you guys so much. Put that down, I said. Put that down. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. In Lord's will, you will see me in the next video. Thank you ever kindly for watching me. God bless you. Say bye. Bye.